My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review for The House with a Clock in Its Walls. And this is a movie that nobody talks about, but I think they should. This is actually a really good movie, and I appreciate the fact that Eli Roth made a family movie. It's just something very different from him, but he still brings enough of his sensibilities as a director to this movie. And that's actually my favorite part about it. Because even though this is a family movie, it is a dark family movie. And it's kind of part of this lost genre, which is scary kids movies. Movies like Coraline, Beetlejuice, Little Monsters, Paranorman. You know, movies that will scare kids, but they can still watch. And I feel like we don't get enough movies like that nowadays. So I find this movie to be refreshing. And like I said, it is a family movie, but my goodness, like there are some dark aspects to this movie. Like you do get some demons, you get blood sacrifices, but I feel like it's a good whole gateway movie. And... I love so much of those elements. Like the way that those puppet looks, like, you know, puppets, the, you know, in that big room, there's like the red demon face guy and all the different dolls and mannequins. I just love the designs behind those creatures. I think the jack o' lanterns in the last act look really great. And I also love just how silly this movie can be as well. There is a scene at the end involving a baby and I thought it was quite funny. And I like how this movie can be dark and serious one moment and light and goofy the next. I also really do like the plot about this kid who lives with his uncle and gets to learn magic. I thought it was very well done, and I love how he actually acts like a kid. Like, he fucks up. He really does. But, that's what a kid who learns magic would do. So, I really do like that aspect. I also think you've got yourself a pretty good cast. Orin Vaquero, I think, does a perfectly fine job. Jack Black is Jack Black, filled with personality and energy, and he just livens this movie up whenever he's on screen. Uh, Kate Blanchett, I thought, did a good job as well. Sony Sajak, I think, is good. So, yes, those four did a good job, but one of my issues with this movie is the villains. Carl McLaughlin, I thought, was awful as the villain. He's just so boring and forgettable. Like, I don't know why they made him an old man. He just has no sense of presence to him. And I feel like they need to hire someone who will go so over the top, who will be so loud and obnoxious. And what we got was the complete opposite of that. And same with Renee Elise Goodsberry. I thought she was very bland. So I didn't care for the villains at all. I think the entire last act does feel a bit rushed. If you added 10 more minutes to it, I think it would have been perfect. I think the movie does have some really bad CGI. When Like, the practical effects in this movie look great. I love the set design and how so much of this movie looks, especially the house. But some of the CGI is just so bad and it took me out of the movie every time it appeared. Uh, the school plot, well, uh, the kid is trying to make friends and there's this one nice girl and then there's a nice guy who turns into a bully. I feel like that gets completely forgotten about in the second half and I don't like the fact that the one nice girl has like zero character the entire movie. And I don't think any of the emotional beats regarding the kids' parents land at all. But I still really like this movie. It's not great, I've got a few issues, but I really like what Eli Roth brings to this movie. I like the darker sensibilities, I love so much of the set designs and the puppet designs, and I think the cast does a good job for the most part. 
I was entertained by the story and it's just a, a kind of movie that I wish we got more of. It's flawed, yes, but I enjoy it, so I'll give The House with a Clock in Its Walls a 7 out of 10. Okay, have you seen The House with a Clock in Its Walls? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin, out.